go. Hi there, you guys out in YouTube land. Today, Kristen, my lovely girlfriend, had a generous nature and a wonderful heart and adopted two very um, beautiful cocktails in desperate need of care. Now, when I saw these two birds in this pathetic, disgusting, dirty, absolutely wretched cage, I was absolutely and totally and completely fucking outraged. Now, as you know, if you've ever looked at any of my YouTubes or any of my blogs, I own four cats and a dog. And uh, I take care of my pets. They are completely spoiled and loved and adored. Um, they go to the bed on a regular basis. They're constantly cared and tended to. I have two elderly pets, a Cocker Spaniel as well as a cat. They're both um, in their teens. And I have cared for them pretty much their entire life um, to the highest degree of quality. Now, when I saw these poor birds, uh, the bottom of the cage was full of rotting bark and uh, piles of bird shit. Their food was the most weakest kind of food that you would feed basically an outdoor bird. Um, that outdoor bird food is meant for outdoor birds because outdoor birds don't just eat that food. They eat things in the wild as well. So it's meant as an extra supplement to them. It's not meant to be food that supplies the full nutrients for a caged bird. Now the people that we went to seemed nice enough, and at least they had the common decency to know that they could not afford their birds and try to give them up for adoption. But in all honesty, these people had other parakeets as well as two other cockatiels. Now, um, I'm sure the birds, those birds that were left, are going to be subjected to the same kind of bullshit that we saw these ones living in. Um, I also, while I was there um, with uh, my girlfriend, decided to adopt a ball python that they had. The ball python is just about a year old. It hasn't been through its first hibernation yet. Um, it was very apparent that the ball python was underweight. Now, the male owner of this ball python made a comment about overfeeding the snake. Now, if anybody knows anything about snakes, you can't necessarily overfeed them. They will only eat when they're hungry. And when they're not hungry, they won't eat. Um, they're not like certain other animals. Um, they become obese. Um, and I was rather shocked by their uh, lack of proper UV lighting, as well as tank size, as well as the hygiene of the, uh, the stuff that the snake was in. They believed somehow that the snake would eat crickets um, and possibly goldfish, which I've never really heard of ball pythons doing. I could be wrong, but I've never heard of this. So again, another stupid person in the world owning animals that they know nothing about. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it loud and proud, people. If you do not know how to care for your pet, but you want one, pick up a book, go online, talk to other people that own the same type of animals, get educated. Do not own animals if you can't, A, afford them, B, want to take the time to care for them, C, don't want to bother to learn anything. Animals are high maintenance and require a lot of care. And you know, just because an animal stays in a cage does not mean that it does not require care. In fact, it requires more. Uh, birds are extremely intelligent animals. They need color. They need toys. They need mental stimulation. They need proper diet, environment, and they need to be in a home where their cage can sit in a place where they can gain social activity from other humans, as well as other birds, pets in your home. They need to be in a safe place and a clean environment, and they, most importantly, need to be loved. Animals are not property. Animals are living things with souls and deserve your respect. And if you're not capable of giving that respect, then don't own an animal. Because it's more than just owning it like a piece of property. They are guests in your home and should be treated as such. So, now that I've got done with my little rant, be kind to your animals and uh, show them the respect that they deserve. And if you're incapable of that, then at least just show respect enough for yourself to not own one to fuck up its life. If you're going to fuck up somebody's life, just fuck up your own and not abuse an animal. So until next time, you guys, be kind to animals and to yourself. And namaste.